Good morning, everyone. So I am the savior of the flat because it turns out that my alarm is the only one that went off for 5.30 in the morning. And I started getting ready and then I, after a half hour, went, you know, you know we're uh, leaving in 50 minutes. Now everyone's up and running around and we've got five minutes to get to the bus. We're going to Fraser Island. Let's go. It looks like our mode of transportation today is a dump truck. What is this? <laughs> the Cocoa Pops monkey wasn't crazy enough for Australia, so they made him even crazier. So after about an hour of driving, we've now made it to Rainbow Beach, which has loads of different really pretty sand dunes over there. And it's just literally driving on the beach where there's a really, really, really long wave during cyclones that surfers come out here specifically to go to. But it looks like the rain is coming. Hopefully that doesn't happen while we're still out here. Hey, Angie! What? What are you doing? Just hanging around. Yeah, that's... <laughs> So we're currently trying to make our way across the sea to Fraser Island, we're waiting for a boat to take us across, but it's taking a very long time. Well, we've now made it on Fraser Island, and the next step is to have some morning tea. We're having some cakes and teas and coffees. What is this guy? Whoa. That is a big lizard. Hey Australian viewers. Uh, what is this? What is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about this rainforest tour is there's so many palms here. So many isn't that what Australians call British people? Um, palms? Palm. Yeah. Um, palm. I was supposed to be a pun. So we've now gotten to the end of our hike. What was your what was the highlight for you? Um I think you falling over. I didn't fall over. <laughs> I stubbed my toe. Yeah, that really which is in, in flip-flops. Uh -huh. And it was quite painful. So we've finally arrived at Lake Mackenzie, also known as the Fountain oh, of Youth. Yeah. And oh my that water is insanely clear. It looks like a swimming pool. That is... Wow. So the interesting thing about Mackenzie Lake is that it's 100% fresh water. Uh, some of it getting into your mouth, it literally tastes like tap water. Now I'm not gonna drink it, but it's, that's why it's referred to as the Fountain of Youth because it's so fresh. The pH level is so just chill and nice. And uh, you actually can open your eyes underwater and it feels like you have like eyedropper tablets in it. So I don't know, I've never experienced uh, anything like this. It's definitely like the opposite of the Dead Sea in that this causes nice feeling as opposed to the sheer pain of the salt. We've got another half hour of swimming left and then we're going to have some nice little picnic lunches above the beach a bit. Just found a massive lizard. Look at this guy. Oh my. Ooh. So what'd you think of our uh, lovely lunch? Um, I'll give it a strong nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Yeah. That's a wrap from her. <laughs> so it was really, really difficult to try and sleep on the vehicle because the roads were so bumpy, it was all sand. So it was constantly like trying to almost fall asleep and then being shaken awake over and over and over. But we finally made it to our last pit stop. I'm going to a bakery and I'm gonna get a pie. So who doesn't like pie? Passage of time passes however fast I want it to during a travel vlog, so it is now night time. We've made it back to our place and I have a free night to kind of do what I want. And so, I'm going on a pilgrimage. I'm going on a pilgrimage in the dark of Australia for about 10 minutes 
to get to the local library in uh, Noosa because maybe they have free Wi-Fi that extends out of the building that I can use to upload a video because I desperately would love to, you know, upload one of these videos that I've made. So, uh, the internet at the hotel is actually abysmal, so I can't really do anything with it. But, let's hope. Okay, it's gonna be a fun walk, right? It's a beautiful day. The weather outside is not frightful in Australia. It's actually quite beautiful. Nighttime is just a nice, warm 25 degrees, maybe? 20, 25? I don't know, Celsius still confuses me. Almost as if it were fate, I've just arrived at the library, and look! There's this little table here with one chair outside the library just for me with internet that my phone could connect to. So maybe, just maybe, I can upload a video on my computer. Let's see. To continue our epic internet saga, it looks like the internet at the library has 0.14 megabytes per second upload speed, which isn't acceptable because it would take me another three days to upload a video. So I guess I've either got to go back or test out the McDonald's another mile away. So my next test for getting internet is going into the belly of the beast of that incredibly loud squawking tree. But that's what Google Maps says. Oh, oh my god, this is so loud. My next test to see if I deserve the internet, I had to go through a narrow walkway, and I got the worst thing you could possibly expect, a net, a spider web, right in the face. Uh, of all the countries to get spider webs in the face, this is the one I don't want it to be in. Why do I do this? More like, why if I do I do this? No. How can Australians sleep at night with this horrible cacophony of terrifying birds? Stop it! In a scorched land absolutely devoid of good internet, you think maybe the golden arches will have some golden Wi-Fi. But no, your woes are drowned out by the cacophony of these terrible birds at .81 megabytes per second. What a shame. Well, somehow this incredibly small town has Uber, so despite my terrible pilgrimage to the scorched lands of Middle Earth, it turns out I could just Uber on the way back from Mordor. That's quite convenient. Who needs eagles anyway? So I'm now back at my place and I'm gonna have an early night because I'm tired. We have to wake up early. It seems like the same story and I don't want to have any regrets. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this really cool vlog to Lake Mackenzie and to Fraser Island. If you did like it, you can give it a like below and subscribe because I make new travel videos like every day now. What's up with that? Anyway, thank you for watching though. I will see you guys tomorrow for a meetup in Brisbane. Goodbye. Yeah, peanut butter fruit. Can we have crunchy peanut butter here? That does taste like peanut butter. Welcome to the meetup! Hi! Cool!